We are back at it again here with another video with the Invest for tomorrow. To the first time viewers and investors, welcome to the channel. To all subscribers, welcome back. Here we are with MMAT, Meta Materials Inc. And after hitting an overextension here on extreme strength here on 42 Vision, it hit a new high today and it's transitioning back down. It hasn't hit a dip area just yet. But we have key levels to talk about as MMAT stock is ranging between 90 cents to a dollar. And while MMAT stock was actually pulling downwards, the overall market in the SPY, the S&P 500 index continued to push up higher after that dip. And our SPY bot since 10, 10 a.m. sent out a bull indicator. And from that moment forward, inflows picked up. They crossed the midpoint with full strength. And as you can see there in the chart, full transition on 42 vision from white with red borders to bright green and full strength there on the charts and call options went up 200% plus within an hour guys you can now gain access to this as well the link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator getting connected over to our bots and becoming part of a growing community of investors using these resources to maximize within the volatility in either direction whether stocks are going up or going down by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts. So here we are with MMAT Meta Materials Inc. And MMAT stock is pulling downwards, fighting, like I stated, between 90 cents to a dollar. And we're going to cover some key levels here and what the inflows versus outflow and bull and bear indicators are showing. But before we do, I want to share with you guys the home run opportunities that were mentioned this morning over at the Discord. So the home run of the day was spectacular and beyond expectations. And if you guys want to know about these stocks early on in the pre-market and receive this edge and clarity of the charts, check out the link down below in the description to the Discord. And by joining, you'll get connected to the 42 Vision Indicators and become part of a growing community of investors all looking to learn and grow together. So the home run of the day was from our AMD bot. It sent out a bull indicator since 10, 10 a.m., and from that moment forward, inflows picked up, full transition on 42 vision as you see there in the chart. And as the inflows crossed the midpoint, full strength and stayed above and call options went up 300% plus within an hour, guys. And as you see here popping up on the screen, this is one of the members in the chat sending out their home run opportunity with AMD. And there was others as well, as you see popping up, Tesla, Apple, all presented opportunities. And you can now gain access to this as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 Vision Indicator. We look forward to having you join us. And we strive for opportunities like these every single day. Let's jump into these charts. So here we are with MMAT stock. You're definitely going to want to stick around for this one. We have a lot to cover when it comes to analysis ratings, the price targets, and how it correlates to the news that actually created the momentum here up to this point. And the stock is currently pulling back. And we have key levels to talk about whether this strength is fading or it's actually going to be a dead cap bounce eventually, right? Like find support and go up the next leg up. We're going to go ahead and break it all down in today's video. I'm going to pull up the bull and bear indicators, which you can now gain access to as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 vision indicator, getting connected to our bots and joining a community of members using these resources to maximize in either direction by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts, whether stocks go up or they're going down to maximize within the volatility. And you can now gain access to it as well. And in today's video, I'm going to pull up the inflow versus outflow indicator, which adds that extra layer of confirmation and gives us that edge within the volatility, guys. So here we are with MMAT stock under a bear indicator. And yesterday's video, I stated it needed to break above 110, which was the recent high to hit newer highs and it did do that right it went to 134 but i did state if it pulled back we need to see how it reacts at one dollar and how it reacts between one dollar and 90 cents and worst case scenario back down here towards 80 cents now here we are below a dollar fighting between 90 cents and a dollar and the stock is falling really fast and the inflow started to slow down I stated in yesterday's video, we want to stay above this midpoint, but also these inflows need to continue to go higher. When we zoomed out, this was one of the highest inflows that we've seen in weeks and months. And every single time we try to come back up, these inflows got brought right back down. And this was the first time that inflows picked up back here on October 10th, got that bull indicator. And not only on the 30 minute, but also on the one hour and full strength up to this point 
and you could see where the inflow slowed down. They switched from green to red today on the one hour and we're coming downwards here about to cross the midpoint. If that midpoint does get crossed, it's going to have a huge impact on the stock MMAT to the downside, right? And the volatility isn't just an MMAT, but also an MMTLP. As you can see here in the chart, it got that bear indicator and those outflows crossed as well. And it dropped from the $6 range all the way down to three. And it's trying to range here and bounce back up. So far, it's back up from 370s all the way up to highs here of 490. We'll have to see how things play out there with that one as well. But right now, this stock needs to find MMAT stock a support level right this is important because the outflows have crossed on the 30 minute it's about to cross on the one hour as we see it and the 15 minute here is already crossed and sitting sideways and hitting its first dip area bar right if you're new here and it's your first time on the channel the dip areas is white with red borders and the rip areas here is bright with green borders right this is a full transition we have the bear indicator there as an extra layer of confirmation full pull down on 42 vision and the outflow indicator as well which shows us the strength and weakness behind each move either to the downside and upside and same thing transitions from a dip area back into the rip area is also a transition upwards followed by bull indicators and inflows crossing up so super important to keep that in mind and how that works so when we come back to the 30 minute here mmat here is under the outflows as you could see it it crossed the midpoint here after a full transition from bright green to red bars and that bear indicator popped up in the process but right now what is going on if this could hold support above 90 cents and if it does break through it the next support 80 cents will be critical but let's see what's going on here the first thing is analysis ratings right they say that meta materials inc mmat stock is likely to make it to five dollars in 12 months right and it has a total of three analysts covering the stock and two of them are stating it's a hold and one of them is recommending a sell so there's two which is more than one stating to hold no one is stating to buy but it's super important to understand where are they getting this valuation and possibility from okay this is not from a short squeeze and again it states here in 12 months this is just speculation and going off of whatever fundamentals behind the company that they see but this is where it gets interesting right mmat stock heats up on partnership hopes right and it has to do with the fact and we brought this up in yesterday's video that the stock rises after getting that 4.3 million order from color optics business right and what gets more interesting is the fact that it states this could rise to 41.5 million over five years now in 12 months is actually less time than what they're projecting here with the business this could actually go ahead and add even more value in the long term but something interesting and something important to keep in mind because they are going ahead and using this for a specific purpose right this has a purpose this isn't just an order for no reason so mmat stock may have future growth just based off this information and this is big and then also the spinoff, which is actually trying to hold value here after running from around $1 all the way to seven, right? And it's still holding itself up here above $4. But let's go ahead and break down what's going on here with MMAT in the charts, right? So the outflows, we already talked about this. This is going to be critical moving forward. We're going to watch if it slows down here on the 30 minute and tries to bring itself back up, right? Try to find consolidation and bring itself back up. Because once those inflows pick back up and cross over the midpoint, it could start reflecting into the chart and possibly cancel out that bear indicator and get another bull indicator in the process. And the first resistance level is a dollar, right? We want to break back above that level of resistance. And if that's accomplished, the next level will be 110. And if that is accomplished, then the highs here of 135 will be a critical resistance level to know if the bulls are trying to put up a fight and bring this one back up with full strength to do that staircase effect and reach newer highs and if those inflows pick back up and started to go ahead and have full strength now if you look at it one of the highest levels of inflows that we've had in weeks to months was 0.41 guys so that's going to be critical 
if it comes back up to retest that or break above that as we see it within the volatility. And then also I'll be watching here this one hour if it could actually level off and not cross to the downside. If not, bring itself back up, use this area as support and start bouncing back up towards the 110, $1. And then we can start talking about 135, some of the highest points that we've seen in this recent run. Do you think the short squeeze play is over? Some people are stating this is a short squeeze. Some are stating this was just momentum. But the biggest thing that happened here was this news that came out. And also analysis ratings have started to upgrade on the stock. And here it is. This was it. That 4.5 million. And if you really think about it, the total market cap is just 300 million. This is about 1% of the company's value so this isn't a huge contract but it's some movement and some valuation to this stock for its value and growth right so all speculation and hype right now i look forward to seeing your thoughts down below as always guys this is not financial advice just my perspective and opinions alone and let's make some money